We chose to partner with the Junior League of Boston because it seemed like a natural fit. When uh, I was approached by the Junior League, we realized that we had a lot in common. This house represents a lot of the history. Uh, our foremothers saved this house from being raised in 1927. And we know that the Junior League of Boston actually began its mission in 1906. So there's a lot of similarities. Uh, the Junior League focuses on the future of young women, and this house really focuses on the history of many women who were strong and were determined to save this house. As you can imagine, as a 501c3, um, it's hard to raise money at times. When the house is getting older and in disrepair, let's face it, no one wants to jump on board to something that needs that much work. And it was very difficult for us to raise the significant funds needed to renovate both the interior and exterior of the house. So partnering with the Junior League gave us an opportunity to really focus on the interior renovations and we're currently raising funds for the exterior renovations. What we intend to do with the home once the show house is completed is obviously continue to show it. <laughs> continue to invite people in for educational series. Uh, one of our missions is clearly the history of the home as well as education. And we have a lot of seminars, meetings, guest speakers that visit here on a monthly basis. And we also will be renting the home. Um, because the house had gotten kind of old and needed some help, we needed a facelift, frankly, um, a lot of people weren't interested in renting it for weddings and other important occasions in their lives. I'm sure now that this house will be very desirable to many different people for many different reasons.